All right, we're back at it again today. Y'all boys ready? You ready. All right, let's just keep our distance and get some exercise today. Here we go. Let's do it. Well, it's not the easiest swinging this morning. As you can see, we got cotton stalks everywhere, which is rough swinging. We got Joe back there, keeping plenty of distance, as you can see. You can barely see him. And Buddy over there, plenty of distance. And we're just checking this whole field right here. We have two more fields to check up front, but right now we're checking this one. Have not got a single decent hit. Not only one hit I even dug, which was a piece of trash, but that's all we got right now. So we're we'll gonna the owner says a couple of old home sites are here. We don't know where they're at right now, but uh, we're doing some research and checking right now. Here we go. Well, after a couple trash hits, I got my first round object. I don't know what it is yet. I say it's not going to be a coin because it looks a little bit oblong there, but let's see what we got here. Definitely a button. Definitely a button right there, I think. Oh, well, let me think about that. Now, maybe not. I'm not sure what that is now. Some kind of like a tack that goes or something. Might have some right on the middle of it right there, dude. All right, we'll clean up and check it out when we get back. Here, buddy. I am uh -oh. right now. Come on, baby. Holy smoke. Yep. I see something down there. What is it? Have you looked at it yet? I have. I've, I just I've gently wiped the dirt off of it. Oh, man. I don't know what it is. What is it? So it looks like an old 1700s coin oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. That's a... Uh, mm -hmm. That's a real. Definitely. But not a cut real. Not a cut real. That's a whole... Yep. Yeah, okay, I see it now. There he is, Carlos, I think it is. Sweet, congratulations, man. Found, man. I am stoked, baby. Air high five, air high five. Air high five, baby. Keeping our distance, keeping our distance here. Nice one, man. Awesome, 1700s, I'm sure. We'll be able to see a date on that. Yeah, here is the uh, the button that I found, too. And you found so. a button, too. Man, you're killing us today, Joe. Yep, you're doing it, buddy. It. I needed it, man. Woo! All right, man. You go ahead. I'm going to sit down. You go yep, and come yep. over. I'll come over so we can keep our it distance. Yep. And uh, check the date on it and let us know, man. I know you can be able to see a date on that one. Come on. Talk to me, man. 17-something, I guarantee I you. I don't want to rub it, Gig. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. We'll wait till we get the truck. Stay tuned. We'll find out the date on it. Buddy, can you read the date on it? Oh, man, listen, 1809. 1809. That tells us that this area has, is definitely old, oh, buddy. Good job, Joe. So that's good. All right, set that down on a thing, and we'll keep our distance here. Let Joe come back over and pick it up right, and check it out. See if you see it, Joe. 1809, baby. Showing up real nice now. All right. Buddy, clean it up just a little bit. All right, guys, there's some old stuff in these fields, man. Let's do it. All right, we're going to check this area that Joe got the uh, 1806 Real in. But as you can see, we're dealing with uh, cor these uh, cotton, cotton stalks, so... Really hard swinging. You gotta make a swing in a row, lift it up, swing in a row, lift it up, swing in a row. Not the easiest swinging here, that's for sure. Boy, them fields where you just go. You go, what you got over there? 15, All right, Joe's got a target over there, so hope he's got something good. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna move on and check the front two fields. Not saying we won't ever come back here. Joe got that 1800s uh, real in here and a button. So we could come back, but right now we're trying to look for that hot spot on this new property. Won't be long for the farmers won't be able to go in these fields. So try to find uh, the hottest spot we can while we can. We always come back in next year. So let's go check the other field out right now. Here we go. Oh, it's not looking good right now. Buddy and I are still skunked, but we're hitting a brand new field. Well, this isn't brand new. We've been here. This is where I got my 1812 button with the cannon and the balls. Man, it was awesome. that's an awesome button. I'll put a picture up there to check it out. But anyway, that's where I got that at. We got a lot of buttons and uh, some old, old, um, we call it shoe buckles and stuff here. So this, this, this site is definitely a good site. So hopefully, hopefully it'll keep us from getting skunked, I'm hoping anyway. You know, it happens though sometimes. You never know. All right, let's give it a shot. Here we go. All right, well, buddy, what's that? Your first hole? Second hole. Second hole, buddy. It's already on the board. I think that's some kind of horse tack or something right there. It looks like it would go in some kind of maybe bridle or something like that. That's pretty cool looking though. Good job, buddy. The gig master's still getting skunked right now. Oh boy, here we uh -oh. go. Uh-oh, let's do it. All right, the gig master may not get skunked after all. Really, really light 16. I think it's a button. Yes, a colonial button. Thank God. 
Never been so happy to see a little small colonial button. All right, let's keep digging. Here we go. I'm digging all these light targets. There's 19 right here. Not real strong, but right now I'm digging anything that sounds good. I'll tell you that right now. But we got to get some targets in here today. Ugh. Hey, come out already. It's in this pile right here. Could be a button. Who knows? I don't see anything. Oh, wait a minute. There it is right there, whatever it is. All right, piece of copper. Oh, it's got some design on it. Look at that. Sweet. I'd have to guess maybe off of a gun gun barrel or something. What do y'all think? Woo, pretty, man. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, that's back. All right, buddy, just found an interesting little something. We're not sure. I see a star and some writing on it. And some design on back, but we really can't make it out yet. So stay tuned to the closeout. We'll let you know what it is. Get under the microscope and look at that. All right. All right, we're going to head out to another part of the field right now. Here we go. All right, we drove around to the back of the field. Uh, the owner said that it used to be a well right here. He filled in 20 years ago, but he figured there's a home site or something right in this area because of the well he filled in. So we're going to hit that right now. Here we go. I got my first corner of the day right here. And guess what? It's not a stinking Lincoln. It's a sweetie weedy. All right, let's put it back and keep hunting. Here we go. I right, got a nice target. Dug it at the ground. I don't know what it is yet. But Stephen got... Some kind of writing on it here. Let's see what it says here. Or maybe it's just design, not writing. Kind of looks like writing around the outside edge here, but now I'm not sure. We'll have to clean that when we get home and check that out. Stay tuned. Might be something good. I'm not sure what this is yet, but I'm thinking maybe a piece of jewelry. I'm not sure. We'll have to clean it up and check out see anything writing on the back or anything, but that could be a little piece of jewelry right there. All right, stay tuned. We'll clean it up and check it out. All right, we're in a new field. And we're just digging it. And I got my first hit, dug my first hole. And I see something round right there. Can y'all see it? It's round. And I see the copper stain right there. And it's a button. I see the tab on back already. Sweet. Already got a colonial button in this field. And I first target. We got some silver in this field before and some other goodies, so man, very good. That's, wait a minute, it might, does it have something on front maybe? Uh, wow, I'm seeing some gold gilt on it. Alright guys, we're going to have to clean this one up. I see gold on it right there. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, as you see, this field's a little tougher swinging. What they do is they grow this uh, grass in here, it's called a cover crop, and then they come in here and spray it with Roundup and kill it. They give nutrients to the soil, so it makes it tough swinging in here. You got to push it down as you're going through here, so it makes it a little tough. All right, pop the plug out of the ground, start looking on the other side. I see something right there. I'm not sure what it is yet. It's pretty high signal, though. Let's see what we got here. Could be a weedy. That's what I'm thinking right now. Yep, that's a weedy. That's in the silver territory, though. So you got that one cent right there. All right, let's bag it up. Well, we're not going home empty-handed today anyway, but we're not killing it either, but beautiful day out here today. It's a good day to be outside, that's for sure. And I'm glad all y'all are right here with me. Outside with the wind blowing like crazy on us. Woo! Feels good. All right, hope we'll keep digging here for a little bit longer see what we come up with. Stay tuned. All right, I guess we'll call that a day. Buddy, I don't know who hit these fields before, but they did a good job. They did a real good job. Man, they had cleaned these fields out. Man. I got a, two pennies and a button. That's all I got out of these fields here. Man, I tell you what, it's amazing how, how you clean it out, isn't it, buddy? It is. Man. All right, we're going to call that a wrap. Uh, I'll clean everything up and show you the closeout. Stay tuned. All right, I have to share a little video I did on the way home. Check it out. Wild turkeys in the field. Check out this male right here. He's going to open up. Look at that. Open up his feathers up. Kind of attract the females and the females following him into the woods he's getting ready to head out right now that is cool right there sorry for the jumpy film there but at least i got it on film anyway very cool right there 
All right, let's get back on the road. Here we go. Well, Joe, buddy, and myself had a great day today, and Joe had a real good day today. Check out this coin Joe found. It's the oldest coin he's ever found whole. Uh, it's an 1806 Spanish Real. Congratulations, Joe. That's awesome. I was so happy to see him find that. Um, he has found a couple cut pieces before, but not, not a whole one before. That's really nice. Uh, but that particular field, he was the only one that found anything. Me and Buddy got skunked in the field that he got a Real out of. And he got one other button, but I tell you, it was really slow in that field. And the stalks, the cotton stalks were real high, really tough swinging. But Joe did it, but he pulled it out of there. He's ready to go back to that field. Uh, but we did pretty good, too. We, we found a few little odds and then some really interesting things I'm going to go over with you right now. Some really strange things. Let's check them out right now. All right. First, I'm going to talk about a couple of buddies here. Well, first thing, this right here, and you see a picture up there. That is a really nice horse tack right there. This well, best I can tell right there. That would be a decoration like on a saddle, I guess, or something. Really nice. Uh, another little piece of horse tack right there, a little small one. And he got this right here. And I'll put a picture up there. It's a um, cash register game piece, I guess, from Germany. I don't know how it ends up in the uh, U.S. here, but it's got a 10 on it. So uh, the picture I'm going to show you is going to be a uh, 5 uh, showing it. But it um, it's actually uh, some kind of like a goes into a toy register from Germany. That's crazy right there. How does that end up over here? I do not know, but you find some of the strangest things out metal detecting sometimes. Um, one field, I was just showing some of the pieces of um, glass, brick in there. Uh, some blue, some green, different colors. This is probably early 1900s. It's not anything real old, 1600s, nothing. This is uh, this particular place we've gotten some early uh, silver and stuff from. But nothing really, really old at that particular place. Um, I did find a few little odds and ends. First thing here, I'm not sure what some of this stuff is here. Anybody know, let me know. But I don't think it's anything really old there. Uh, that's a tire thing, I think, so maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure. But down here, these couple of things here, I'm going to just get a close-up of these. You see how they got some nice, um, design on them? I don't know if it's some kind of jewelry piece, or, or maybe some kind of, maybe it's part of, like, a shoe thing or something. I'm not sure. Anybody got a clue on some of that stuff there? Let me know. Those two pieces there. Same thing with this one. Got a nice design on I'm thinking maybe a gun stock or something, potentially. Really thick, really heavy duty. Nice little flower design on it. Uh, there's a button, old colonial button. And this button here is really cool. It's uh, got some, definitely got some gold gilt on it. I think I need to clean up a more. I think some more of that gold will come out. But it's, uh, it's a flower. It's like a, I don't know if it's roses or just a flower or whatever. But that's pretty cool right there. That, that, it's a two-piece button too. So check it out. Kind of like a military button would be. Two pieces like that. I ain't cleaned the back off get the maker yet, but that was pretty cool. Um, three Wheaties, uh, 1917, 19, and 1945. Uh, one of the coolest things I got is this right here, though. I'll put a picture up there on the screen. It's uh, actually, if you notice, the wording is reversed on it. So it's a stamp, and it says, Pittman and Gray Company Incorporated, Sebral, Virginia. And the best thing I could find on the internet is 1912. It's the only thing I could look up and find. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I, I wish I had a, some... Uh, I need to do a stamp on it. I need to clean up just a little more. The, the V in Virginia is not coming through good. And the pit in Pittman is not coming through good yet. But I think I'll be able to clean it up and then get that out of it. That is really cool. It's, on the back side, it's actually got um, National Seal Works, Richmond, Virginia. So they used to make these, I guess, and they're still in business as far as I know. Uh, so they make these for companies uh, that would stamp their stuff, I guess, because it's reversed so we can do it to be right. They would stamp their stuff. I'm not sure what that company did, actually. But uh, if anybody knows that, let me know. Pittman and Gray Company Incorporated. Uh, there might be more. This might just be a local one at Seabro, and they might have them all over the country back then. I don't know. That's pretty cool, though. I like that. That was a good find for me right there. That's my best find right there, probably. Never found a seal like that where you stamp it on. That's pretty cool. Backwards. But anyway, um, we got out today. Turned out to be a beautiful day. Um, we hit um, two two main spots. Um, the first one, like I said, me and Buddy got skunked on the first one. Um, we thought that was going to be a super good site. Right near Civil War stuff and everything. 
very little. To see Joe, Joe's, Joe got the best of that site there. Uh, the second site, we ended up, ended up hitting a few things here and there. So, anyway, um, appreciate everybody coming along today. I hope y'all enjoy getting outside today. Get some exercise. Uh, don't forget to click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to the Gig Master. All right, thanks for coming along.